Alrighty guys, welcome back to another LEGO minifigure comparison from Brick by Brick. And today we have Darth Vader, two different versions of him. On the left, this one over here, we have Darth Vader from the Death Star Final Duel set. And over here we have Darth Vader. This particular one happens to be from the Super Star Destroyer set. But he also appeared in a magnet thing, the Imperial Shuttle, and the Millennium Falcon from 2011. Um, but I'm pretty sure the only one he had a chrome hilt in was the, uh, the Super Star Destroyer. Don't quote me on that one, though. Uh, but they're both pretty cool figures. This is one of the more common, like the more common modern one. There's two um, more common Darth Vader's. The other ones are all pretty exclusive and only appear in like one set. But um, you can see, just comparing them, they look a bit different. Their masks look different, but we'll talk about that in a minute. I'm gonna start off comparing their torso prints. Neither of them have, have back printing. They both have the same cape. And I'll just demonstrate so that underneath there, no print. And underneath there, no print, no print, and no print. Which is a little unfortunate, but, you know, we're going to have to deal with that. And, on the front of this one's torso, you can see it's kind of got that top section. This one has the top as well. They're different looking. And this one just has more mechanical details printed on there, little buttons and stuff. This one has buttons, but they're not as detailed. You can just tell from comparing them. This one has leg printing. I um, mean, it's nothing special, just the bottom of his robes, but it is worth noting. They both come with lightsabers. This one has a metallic silver hilt. This one is a chrome silver hilt. But the biggest difference between these two figures lies in their helmets and heads. We'll take a look at this one's head first. And you can see that it looks Darth Vader-like. It's light bluish gray. And it has those little scars and scratches on him. No back printing on that head. And um, the Darth Vader helmet mold is the typical uh, Darth Vader helmet that was introduced in 1999 and has been used up to 2016. So this was a 17 year piece, or no, 2015, Never mind. So a 16 year piece, but it is pretty nice. It was definitely a fantastic mold for 1999, because molds have gotten a lot more advanced. But it has the little ridge down the front, and it looks like Darth Vader, definitely. Um, and I personally really like this old Darth Vader mask mold. I think it looks really nice. But this new mold is also very nice because of how different and unique it is. It is a two-piece helmet. So here's the top. As you can see, it's a little bit less exaggerated, a little bit more compact and realistic, obviously. The front looks nice, um, very Darth Vader-y. But it actually does not have the whole mask because it has this little bottom piece, um, which is different than the last Darth Vader. I'm not going to take that off and show it to you individually because if you want to see that and a closer review of this guy, I did a minifigure showcase on him just a couple days back. You can see the face print on him, though, is very nice. I really like the white used for his skin. I think it's way more accurate than the light bluish gray. I think it would have been better to have, like, that really, really light gray that was not used on many pieces. And I don't think it's been used very recently. But it does have scratches on the back of his head, too. I think that would have been a better skin color for Vader. But this, um, like that, that color isn't really used ever. And unless they're gonna go specifically out of their way to use it, I think this is a nice substitute for that. I think it works, the white. So anyway, those are the two Darth Vader minifigures. The, I mean, this is obviously not all of them. And, um, like, the main reason I made this video was to compare the two helmets. 
and I'll tell you in a second which one I like better and why. But, um, this is obviously not even just the two most recent Darth Vader's. There are two using this mask now, and there was one from, uh, I forget what year, but like 2013 or so, something like that, that, um, had a tan head from set number 75055, and, um, it was released in 2014 in the Imperial Star Destroyer set. He had a tan head, so he was different. But he still used this helmet. I think he might have had leg printing, actually. Yeah, he introduced the leg printing and torso from this guy. But, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did. And uh, have a fantastic day. Tell me in the comment section below which Darth Vader helmet you prefer. Which mold. I... I think that this one is definitely more classic. I really like um, the older Darth Vader's just because I think that they were, first of all, when they came out, they were some of the best minifigures in the Star Wars line, Darth Vader, just because that amazing helmet mold. I think this is more accurate, and I really like the fact that you can take it off and have like the bottom of the helmet still there, and um, I definitely like this head a lot better. But in terms of the helmet, this one just feels a little bit weird to me, the way it's kind of looking up into the sky, and he's like, oh, hey, look, stars. <laughs> but, um, uh, this is a little bit odd. It takes getting used to, definitely. But I think that this is a better helmet mold. More realistic, much better for Darth Vader. This one, I just think, is cooler and more nostalgic for many people, so they're gonna like that better. So... If it's up to me, I think they're both really cool. I think I probably have to go with the older one being just a little bit better. I think it just looks more intimidating. This one just looks a little bit a little bit stranger. However, as I said, I do really appreciate this new mold. And I think this Darth Vader figure is going to become very popular, uh, the new helmet. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you did, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys all later. Bye, guys.